All right, I have a doozy of a story for today. So, kind of still can stick with the Halloween type thing because it's spooky as hell. <laughs> um, I don't know how many people out there have ever done online dating. Um, I got in the habit of doing it years back. Long story short, I, I kind of, that was my only option at the time. So, you go online dating. And at this time, I'd done it a few times. Um, I had a gentleman ask me if I wanted to do something different, if I would like to go camping. I love camping. I'm an outdoors person. I'm a nature person. I love it. So I was so geeked. Cool, let's go camping. But I'm not your typical, like, I'm going to wear my jeans and my hoodie and I'm, I'm good. It was still a date. I wore a dress. The funny thing is, is I have dated enough rednecks and military men <laughs> that I... Mm -hmm. I can withstand and hold my own. So I meet this gentleman. Um, we ended up meeting up at a gas station and we ended up, seemed pretty harmless. And I said, so where are we going? You know, I knew the area fairly well, you know. Um, he says, oh, well, we're going to, you know, Manistee National Forest. I'm like, oh, wow, that's kind of big. I mean, the way it's spread out through Michigan, yeah, it's kind of big. So I'm like, okay, cool. I've, I've been in Manistee National Forest a few times, no big deal. So we start going, and then we're driving and driving and driving. And as always, you know, you always wonder on dates, and you know, whether or not I talk to him for a week, a month, a year, doesn't really matter. It still fits that in your head. So we're driving out in these back roads, and I'm noticing him looking around a lot. I'm, when's the last time you were out here? Oh, it's been a few years. You know where we're going, though, right? Yeah, 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 I got this. Okay, so we finally find it <laughs> after a while, and then we get there, and he says, I'm going to set the tent up, and I said, all right, well, how about I, I'll, I'll help start a fire. Did you bring any wood? Well, no, we're in the woods. Did you bring a chainsaw, an axe, something? No. Okay. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Um, any paper, anything like that, so we can start the fire. Well, we're in the woods. There's leaves everywhere. I'm like, yeah, that would have been awesome if it hadn't rained, which was already my worry with this wood that you were so excited about, but the fact that those are the leaves also. So I proceeded to go through my purse, and I found everything to go ahead and start a fire. And I did. I also went out in the woods, and I drug out damn near a tree's worth of wood. Lots of it. And in that time period... He was assembling a pop-up tent. Real simple. Takes five real five minutes. <laughs> so we're going on like 45 minutes of him doing that. And I walk over and step in for that last minute. Oh, I guess I walked in at just the right part and helped him so it was put up. So then, as we're sitting there, and I'm probably two beers in, I was kind of pissed. I'm like, this is, I wasn't planning on being the guy in the relationship of this or whatever, on the date even. So, he said, he starts getting all these things out of the back of his truck. And I'm like, um, is this stuff from the tent? In which case, what, what the hell's going on? And he's like, oh, no, 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 you, you'll see. He's pulling out what I come to find out are speakers that he hooked up to his car to amplify sound. And all of a sudden, I got to listen to two wild animals molesting, raping, killing each other on a CD. And he's blaring it through the woods. What the fuck are you doing? So you want to know the real reason we're out here? Well, shit, probably for my funeral, by the sounds of it. You know, are we going to go Viking style? Is there a lake around here? You'll light me up? What the hell is going on? <laughs> no. We were Sasquatch hunting. And that was the call that was going to bring it out. I was a child that saw a unicorn once. And actually, I thought about kind of even making that my story earlier, but it's not so much a funny joke. I actually saw one, but it was a moose with a deformed antler growing out the center of his head. And I did see all the neighborhood boys chasing it with a shotgun in their truck. <laughs> but I am not saying that Sasquatch isn't real. Uh, my boyfriend will tell everybody, well, how come we don't have movies and more proof? And yep, and I've met a million people that say that, and I have other people that say yes. And I'm... 
I believe in fairies. I wonder about gnomes. I mean, there's all kinds of weird stuff that happens. You never know. So, I, I, I'm not judging him on the fact that we went Sasquatch hunting. I am judging him on the fact that he is blaring, screaming, raging stuff. And then I, I make the comment, and it was so funny because this was years before the Facebook and the memes. And he said, well, it's kind of like a mating call. And all, and I even looked at him, I was like, what are you going to do if it comes running up with a boner? And he's like, well, it's, it doesn't work that way. Oh, you're playing a mating call, apparently, to this thing that you have no idea anything about. <laughs> and then you're hoping it's not going to come rape your ass? Good luck. <laughs> I, I hope everyone every day can find something that uh, drives them, motivates them. And if, if it's something like that, cool, great. Always show us pictures. I'd love to see. And I'm not saying I don't believe in it. Don't get me wrong. I, I go ghost hunting. I, I believe in ghosts, so... And I believe in unicorns. <laughs> so I'm definitely not judging. I'm just saying that for a date that was supposed to be camping, that I had to go do everything for. And then it was a ghost Sasquatch hunting. Needless to say, his uh, hole, he was going to get laid that night. Didn't happen. I went into a sleeping bag that zipped all the way closed. Didn't even know those were a thing until that date. Zipped up in there, and then in the morning, got the hell out of Dodge. He was a little disappointed. Why did I go right to sleep? Well, I wasn't digging the date, that's for sure. And Sasquatch didn't show up to rescue me from your crazy ass. Because it wasn't even the Sasquatch part. It was the fact that he was completely... I don't know. I found it very unmanly. All the stuff for what we were supposed to be doing. I should not have to be the boy in the relationship or take the masculine side of it. I don't mind helping. But, I don't know. I was raised old school. He should at least know what the hell he's doing. He should know how to put up a pop-up tent. And not just know how to try to bait a jacked up horny Sasquatch, okay? I'm just saying. So, I hope everybody had a great day. I hope that at least made you laugh at the fact that I was dumb enough to go in the woods uh, with a complete stranger who, yeah, I did it. Anytime anyone says, ah, oh, that date was horrible, I'm like, all right, that is one of, like, many that are kind of bad. <laughs> but they all made for great stories, and I don't regret any of them. Much. <laughs> So, I hope everybody had a great day. I hope you all have a great night. You have a great tomorrow. And I think everything is definitely looking up. Halloween's getting closer. So, everybody have a great night. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.